Hello, this is Albert Gurrier. This one, this video is going to be a little bit differently. One, that is. Um, after watching this, if you like it, if you derived anything from it, um, I don't want you to throw a like or subscribe. Um, if you're going, if you've been directed to this from Twitter, go on there and retweet this saying, with the comment, I learned something today. So yeah, retweet it with simply a comment of I learned something today. Today, basically, it's going to be about life and the world in general. Um, sometimes life treats us certain ways. And sometimes we approach things in the sense that if there was a 99.95% chance of it happening, we would do it without fail, without any issue. If there was a 0.5%, then we may be hesitant. We may not think to do or go for what we should go after. Now, Life is basically also a risk-reward situation. Sometimes if you do a major risk, sometimes you get the best rewards. Sometimes it just doesn't happen. But you never really know until you go for it and know whether you can accomplish things or not. That's life for you. It happens. But sometimes you just have to because you just never know what the result might be. Now, you come to life and basically you lay your cards on the table. You put them all out there for everything to be known, everything to be felt, everything to be experienced. And everything to be established. You put your life and your cards out there on the table on the off chance that life may throw you a curve. So basically, you put your cards out there and you, you make that decision that you could either be one of these people that succeed under the 99.9% chance of getting things wonderful. Or you could be one of those people that are of the 0.5% that, that goes to the major risk and gets a major, major reward back in return. You lay your cards out on the table. Life hands your cards that you could choose from as well to see where you want to go in life, to see what you want to do. And so you put yourself out there. You take a step. You make a decision. You make a choice to basically see what life has to offer. Life spins around. Life kind of goes up and down and all around. But you've decided to make the choice of going for it all and taking that risk to see what happens. You pick up that card, you flip it around. Things get you in a daze, but, <laughs> but essentially it may not be what you wanted. It may not be or expect you might have you might have anticipated more. You might have expected more, but at the end of the day you got something. You have something that you could work with and manipulate and play with. While it may not have been, like I said, what you expect, what you anticipated or what you have wanted, you've gotten something that basically you could work with. Now it's at this point you have to ask yourself, do I... If I, if I don't get what I'm anticipating or expecting, do I just quit? Or do I pick myself up, dust myself off, 
reevaluate, rethink my inventory and situational life. Do I, what exactly do I have to do to get what I'm after? To anticipate, to appreciate, and to enjoy the finer things in life. You realize that the best thing and the only thing that you could do is jump back into it. Start a new challenge. Start a new goal in life. Start a new focus. Put work back into it. And at the end of the day, you know, you could walk away with something that you wanted and needed more than anything in life. And that's only if you jump back into it and start playing again. Start, start going for the challenge. Start going for that next best thing. Like I said, if you agree with me, if, you, if you've gotten something from this today, you've gotten this from Twitter, go on there, retweet this. Like I said, don't like or subscribe. Just retweet this with the comment saying, I've learned something today. See you later. Bye for now.